Hey everybody, welcome back to Expedition Extreme. We've got a slightly different little show over here. We're not much of a news agency, but I've heard some really great news that's going to affect all of us here in the Middle East. Um, and uh, so I asked Gary Turner, who is the owner of Tough Gear Trading, to come join me here in my backyard and have a little chat about what I've heard, the rumors, and let's see if we can, what we can drag out of Gary. Um, and then, uh, you know, what you can tell us, tell us, what you can't tell us. But Gary, welcome to Expedition Extreme. Yeah, thank you thank very you. much, Sean. Thank, thank you. you very welcome much. to the United Arab Emirates. Yes, very much so. So um, Gary, you tell us a little bit about Tough Gear Trading, where it is, where it started, and, and what you want to do, and tell Great us stuff. secrets, secrets. Well, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me start off. Uh, I've been coming up here about 22 years, 20 yeah. years. Um, up into the Middle East, different regions. Uh, I love it because the, the culture and the people, the hospitality is just absolutely fantastic. It really is. Um, and yeah. it's a place I do really love. Yeah. And there's not many people who get to know and explore as much as we have. Uh, during that time, um, I've, I've worked with different companies uh, as directors and as export manager in different Australian companies. Yeah. Uh, we've been in the international trade for a while. Yes. But uh, the company is fairly new, it's over three years old. Okay. And um, we've developed uh, rapidly into the markets. We're in 22, 24 countries now. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it's quite exciting. Um, yeah. The reason we came up to the, the, this last trip now, um, I think it was a couple of reasons. The one, the one particular reason is, is the market is, is a grown market. The leisure, people want quality. People yes. want, want support, they want the technical. People don't just want to take a product and supply the product. What they're looking for is they're looking for solutions. Yes. They're looking for something which is not just made in Australia yes. and manufactured in Australia, but they want something which is, which is suitable to the market which is here. Fantastic. So what you're telling me is you've taken your years of experience in this market, in the off-road business, and you started manufacturing your own brand, Tough Gear Trading, based on the experience that you've picked up. One of, one of the key things, Sean, just to go back, one of the key yeah. things we, we, while we've had amazing growth, mm -hmm. is, is we've had really great partners. Okay. And I must contribute the success of the company to the staff and to the partners we've established. Yes. And that, because we, we don't look for the big companies, we look for companies with passion. We really love what we do. This yeah. is what we love. This is our life. Yeah. Um, and that's how we structure our business portfolio. What we have done is 78% of our products come from Australia. Okay. So the markets where majority of our products are, are manufactured and supplied from is Australia and, mm -hmm. uh, and South Africa. We don't okay. rebrand everything. Yes. We do manufacture some parts. Yes. But we've taken the best of the best, yes. which is in those markets, and we've packaged those deals under a license and we've brought that through to, to the UAE, into the Middle East. That's fantastic. But Within, within that, you know, the guys that own their own shops and, and they have passion for this industry, mm -hmm. therein lies the complexity is that they don't always have the facility to warehouse or the, the liquidity to order containers and containers loads full of stock. So you always end up with an issue with stock. So how, how are you looking to overcome that now? One of, one of, the, one of the things we have found in the markets currently is uh, you get fantastic brands up here, yes. but there's not enough product. So when this person Never. personalizes a vehicle or customizes his vehicle, he, he doesn't have that many options. So he wants to go for a particular brand yeah. and there's not a full range of that particular brand. So what we've, what we've done is we've, we've, the last few weeks and the last few years since we've started and we've identified where the market is, uh, we, we will be now bringing in containers. Okay. As a, as a, as a consortium uh, and we'll bring in containers and bringing in stock. So we've identified partners we want to work with. Yes. We will hold in stock and we'll be able to give, distribute to the customer. So what you're telling me is I'm embarking on a new build. I'm going to be able to kit out my front bumper, my rear bumper with the same part. I don't have to go and find out, well, I can only get a back bumper on a TJM and I can only get a front bumper on an ARB and I can only get whatever the case. And I piecemeal and my, my car ends up being cookie cutter of all different pieces and it's never never the same so you're telling me that tgt is going to hold stock and your your distributor with your dealers are going to be able to carry the stock all year round that's correct so we we what we're doing is we're actually building the peak so we know that we're in the season of of uh, this is the key season yes um we we got containers coming through now through yeah. identified partners we're working with okay and uh, we're going to guide those partners in terms of product we're going to guide them in terms of what the customer wants and help them to identify what the products are. Okay. We're then going to put in stock into the system. Yeah. So it's going to cater for the 12 months, not just two months or three months. Yeah. But you're not going to get a piecemeal, as you said, yeah. but you're going to get a total package. Excuse the aeroplane, we're in the flight path, but we're going to just 
carry on because the sun's busy setting. So one of the packages, Sean, is, 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 is we, we have taken great brands in Australia. Yeah. So we, we have taken products what we put together and have licenses and our partners with, with people who we who respect and honor. Yeah. Um, and we've structured those deals together to bring great brands to the, to, to the market. So let me, let me just get my head around this. You're going to have a distributor and, and, and unfortunately, um, tr try to get it out of Gary before this, but he cannot divulge who the distributor is yet. Um, there will be a launch. There will be a, a, probably a media campaign around the area yes. of here. We'll do some marketing and so on. Um, will definitely be part of that marketing because I tell you for sure something like this is going to be a game changer for any four-wheel drive enthusiast out there. But I want to get my head around one thing. I'm a, I'm a small dealer. Let's, let's say, um, let's, let's call it I'm an icon or I'm, yes. I'm a Remy, right? So I'm a small dealer compared to a distributor that can carry warehouses full yes. of stock, right? If I were to, to, to contact you or, or you can even contact us because I'm sure you'll, you'll let us know yes. because we, I really want to be part of this. Um, but they can contact us. They will be able to buy directly from the distributor and they'll have stock here in the UAE. That's correct. You're 100%. For any of the dealers. You're not going to say no because, uh, look, let's take it. Remy is worn, yes. worn winch, right? So the TGT winches can be stocked by them as well because you're permanently going to have stock of that. So you don't have to yeah. wait for the worn winch stock to come in or the super winch stock from Icon or ARB from yeah. ARB. Correct. You're going to carry stock all through here and you don't matter which of the partners or which of the 4x4 dealers, your distributor is here to sell to everybody. What, what, what they take some heart is what the customers want. Yeah. So what the customers want is what we actually put into the market. So, okay. so basically, we, we, will, we will give that opportunities because we like to build businesses. Yeah. There's some great, great uh, uh, brands up here. Yeah. There's also great um, four by four places up here. Oh, yes. We've got a history. They've really got amazing yeah. histories. And, and a lot of them have been around a long time. So what we're doing is we're trying to enhance. Mm -hmm. The best thing to do for us is actually add value. So once yeah. we add value to credibility to a, to a company, we done, we're doing a part of our, yeah. our job. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. So, so to answer your question, so we're in the negotiations and um, really exciting times. Yeah. Very exciting times. Um, and, the, and the impact on that, you'll see the stock coming through. So, so just, I'm going to stop you there, yes. sorry, because right now I'm seeing hopefully a 40 foot container, maybe two 40 foot containers in stock here in the, in, in the UAE. By right, there should be one on the water as well because by yes. the time the stuff arrives here, it goes out the door very quickly. I see that with, with many products, front runner, so on and so yes. forth. The stock arrives, we're all waiting for the stock, we all get take delivery of our stock and then you go back to buy something, you've got to wait another six to eight weeks before the stuff arrives. So I can imagine that you're going to have that continuity, but now you're aware, you're, you're manufacturing. I mean, are you going to be able to keep up with the demand? Where does your manufacturing take place? Is it just another Chinese brand that you're no. slapping on a TGT badge? No, 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 no. What, what, what you'll see, you'll see a, a multiple brands here. As I yeah. said to you, the 78% of the brands come from Australia. Yeah. So w instead of rebranding re everything, we have licenses which we operate in. Okay. And uh, for example, we're launching, we're putting Red Ark up here into, into the Middle East. Red Ark. Great product. We, Red Ark. We put in Australian clutches, which we, we work with in, in okay. uh, Australia. Um, and we These are the heavy duty clutches that you're putting into correct. armored vehicles as well as the mining industry. Yeah? Co yes, correct. And the leisure market. So there's okay. a big market um, and there's, a, there's numerous products. Yeah. Uh, just so you see some of the products over here. We've got the Rapture Lights, which is manufactured in Australia. So, so you've, you, you've taken Raptor, but you believe that this is a great brand and right. you've decided to distribute this like you're doing with Red Ark. Red Ark is the number one yes. battery management system in the world. So you're not going to try and remanufacture it. You've become the dealer. Yeah, that's correct. So what so we're doing is we're actually taking the, Raptor, the product, then, yeah? consolidating those products, yeah. making it easy, putting all the products in, control yes. the logistics chain so the process is, okay. is consolidated. It comes so I'm a one-stop shop, once that's again. That's correct, 100%. So you're just, I, as, as, a, as a 4x4 accessories owner shop, I walk in, I've got a distributorship here in the Middle East, in UAE, I can now go from snatch wraps to bars to lights to, and I can pretty much kit up. What about roof tents? What about oh, awnings? Amazing, amazing roof tents and awnings. We've got a, the 270 awning. Yes. Um, Really great quality. Uh, what we've also done is we've gone back to the market and we've asked people, what do you require? Okay. What, what are the features you want in the UAE what we don't have and it's manufactured oh, in South Africa? So okay, we, so yes. the tents are coming from 
or what, what kind of tents are they? Are they the clamshell tent? We've got, we got a clamshell tent yes. uh, uh, with all the features. So made it's of? What, oh, what? oh, it's amazing. You've got the canvas, you've got the aluminium, so it's, yeah. it's a full, fully operational. So aluminium ones as well? That's correct. Okay. And all, all, all it is, is just a plug and play. So what we're looking at is trying to adapt it so we can suit the market here. Okay. Putting lights in, okay. uh, making, making it a far more attractive offer. So when the customer buys the product, they just take oh, the product, right. Put it on and there they go. GCC so, specs, so we're going to have fans, we're going to have lights, we're going to have USB. That's what we're trying to do. Have, that's okay. what we're trying to do. That's, that's what we're trying good. to do. Oh, that's good that you're listening to the market because I'm so sick and tired of, and, and you can't really blame the dealerships, the, the Icons, the Remys, the off-road zones, you know, the plethora of them out there. You can't, you can't blame them because, again, they're selling what's on, on their shelves, but they're not, they're not carrying all the stock. Now with the distributor over there, whatever the customer wants, they can sell what the customer needs instead of selling what's, on their shelf. 100 percent correct. We also, as you know, we also uh, we mark a tough dog a lot. Uh, okay, with so John. the tough dog suspension. 100 percent. Okay, so now I know that that's been in the market here for a short while, but it's been geared very much at a little bit on the leisure side, but it's also geared very much on the armored side. You're now obviously going to expand that to the full range of leisure vehicles. So not just the y, Y62s. You're going to go for Wranglers and. Well, we we have we have, we have a John John the owner of Tough Dog is an amazing man. You know, yeah. 67. Sorry, John, yeah. but uh, <laughs> but uh, he's an amazing team. They they absolutely a great team, and and we've been working with them now a couple of years. Yeah. Um, and we and through them we've managed to really really develop a product which yeah. is suitable to the market. Okay. And because we we find the right partners, we will be able to get it out there. Yes. And it's the right passion. Uh, the, market, the, 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 the product's been here for a few years in the UAE, yeah. but what we've just done is we actually make it more accessible, okay. so you have the stock. What we're looking at is bringing stock yeah. in here. So okay. once you've got stock in here, it's an easy process for us. Right. And, and it's well, not it's, difficult. It takes the burden away from everybody else to have to order a container because it doesn't make sense. I know a lot of the places over here, if you need something urgent, you air freight it. And, That's it, and it costs a lot of money. Correct. So if you can have it landed here and the dealers are buying from your distributor at a landed price, which is come in at the container load, the cost to us should be less than what we're doing right now. So... Um, Scale over comics. I, I tell you what, Gary. Thank you for yes, for, thank you very for much, doing Ron. this for the market. I think um, I think this is something we've needed for a long time. Mm. I think it is important. We've had many companies try and do it. Mm. I wish you the best of luck. I've, uh, I will be sharing some more information on Tough Gear Trading and the products that they do. But rest assured. The product range that Tough Gear Trading is doing is a complete build for your vehicle. So uh, I wish mm. I wish you were around when I was trying to put this together because <laughs> uh, the amount of stuff that I air freighted and had to buy from different yes. places all over the place it, it just it just killed me. But if you're looking to build a vehicle and you want to go from your front bumper, your lights, your winches, all the way to the rear, including your draw systems, your drop down, bringing in drop drop down fridge yes, sliders. Yes, yes, yes. We're, okay. we're listening to what the market wants. I, 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 was, I was amazed because we've been looking that for that in the market for quite some time. So the drop down fridge, you're probably going to be seeing an animation on there right now. That's coming in, which yes. is fantastic. You said the 270 freestanding awning, your aluminium rooftop tents, yes. roof racks. You yep. can build everything. And then we haven't even touched on performance. Yes. We haven't even touched on the safari performance that you're doing. We haven't touched on snorkels, but I think what we'll do is let's wait until the next segment over here. Gary will be back in Australia, so we'll try and do an interview with Gary via Skype. And let's try and release. Yeah. And hopefully I will then know where we're going to get this stuff and distribute it. <laughs> but in the meantime, comment down, down below if you need any questions. If you want to know more, comment below. And uh, I'm sure between Gary and myself, we can get some answers back to you. And Gary, thank you very much, Sean. Once again, and thank all the, you. Thank you very much. All the best to you. And yes. I, I hope it's going to work. And to everyone out there, cheers. <laughs> if it's dusty, drive it. <laughs>